Welcome back. In this section, you're going to learn about subqueries. Actually, this is going to be a very short one, and you don't need to worry. I promise. <laughs> a subquery is a query within another query. Sometimes we find that a single query cannot return the data we need. For example, we may need those people who are earning above the average salary. A single query may not help us with this. We can check that. Let's see. When I gave this question to one of my classes, this was one of the most common solutions my students were giving. One of them said we could get the first name, then the SEG from employees, go by the first name since we are working with a non-function column, having, and we ran this, it, we got into troubles. So we finally agreed that this doesn't work. Another one brought this solution, that we could get the first name an SEG salary from employees go by the first name. We'll, when we ran her solution, congratulations, but the answers were not the ones. We want people who are earning above the average salary. Actually, this is not even the average salary for, the, for all the employees. So we are getting something different. So we see that both solutions couldn't give us the answer so don't even think about them <laughs> what you're going to do we have two methods to do this one to get the employees who are earning above the average salary we can first decide to get the average salary after getting the average salary then we filter out the data using the average amount of salary we have got in the first query this is how we can do it we can first begin with getting the average salary. What is that average salary? When we get it, we know that this is the average salary. Then we can run another query that will return the employee records and then we filter the records based on this amount of salary. So we can get this, the first name, salary from employees, and then we use the where clause where salary is greater than this amount of figure we have got which is 6461.83 and when you run these are the 51 people who get a salary that is above the average salary however this is a long solution we need to go through two steps to get to the answer why don't we use only one step to get to the answer this is when the sub query is coming the second method we are going to use only a single query to return that and it's going to be mixed with another query so this is the outer query the query that is going to return the employee records the first name and the salary from employees. Then in the where clause, rather than putting this amount of figure, we're going to just change to another query. So where the salary is greater than, we write our query. We shall get this query that returns the average salary, that returns the average salary. So we are going to get this. And then we come to our query. So instead of writing the figure, we are going to just paste in this query. So you can see that this is now a single query, but with another query. So we are going to say where salary is greater than, then we open the brackets, we punch in, punch in the query that returns the average salary and then finally terminate we don't terminate in the in the inner query so oracle will first work on this one to get the results and then the results it gets it will just use them here in the where clause so when we run you can see that we get the same results like the other two steps so this is what we call a subquery a query within another query another example we could get is we need to know who is the top earner who
who earns the highest salary. To get that, we shall just modify our previous query. We are going to get the name and the salary where the salary is equal to then we bring in the query that we use to get the maximum salary or the highest salary. Let's see this in action. We know that to get the maximum salary or the highest salary, we use the max. So we say select max salary from employees. So this query returns the highest salary. And when you run, this is the highest salary. Now we need to know who is that person who earns the highest salary. To do that, we are going to get the first name and the salary from the table employees. Then where the salary is equal to, we bring in our query that we use to get the highest salary. And then we paste it here. And when we run, we can, we can see that Steven is the highest earner. So that is how subqueries work. We may, the final example we could get is to return all those employees whose job position is the same as that of employee whose ID is 169. We have an employee whose ID is 169, but we don't even know his job position. But we need to know all those people who are sharing the same job position as him or her. So what we are going to do, we need to first know what is the job position for that employee 169. To get the job position of that employee 169, we can first begin with the job ID. The job ID will give us the job position of that employee. So from employees whose employee ID is 169. And when you run, we can see that he is a sales representative. So we need to know all those employees who are doing the same job as this person 169. So to get those employees, we can begin by selecting the first name. And you can even include the last name. You can even add the job ID to be sure that they are sharing the same job position from employees where we can just now substitute where the job ID where the job position is equal to then we bring in this query that return a sales representative so what this will do it will just return all those employees and their job position and the job ID or the job position should be that of the employee called the employee with an ID 169. So when we run, you can see that we have 30 sales representatives. So, so we can see that all these are employees sharing the same job, sharing the same job position as employee 169. So that is how we can use subqueries and indeed subqueries can be very powerful and so helpful. In the next section, we're going to learn how we create our own tables. Let's meet there. It's really interesting.